we got some uh, breaking news. Backstage with ONA. Oh. And now, backstage with ONA. Here is Primetime Sam Roberts. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts. And Steve C., the developmentally disabled executive producer of The Opie and Anthony Show, showed up to work wearing effeminate Capri shorts. We went to Steve to get the scoop. <laughs> Steve, what are you wearing? Shorts, Sam. No, those are Capri shorts. Are they really? I thought they were just shorts. No, they go too far past the knees and they're tight. They're effeminate Capri shorts. Oh, and they're fringed at the bottom? They're fancy. Do you ever, like, look at yourself in the mirror and think, how can I make the guys make fun of me today? <laughs> um, no. I actually look in the mirror and go, I have no idea if this has any fashion relevancy whatsoever. Then I turn around and I look at my... Oh, my I have to stop this. We never stopped the backstage with ONA bit. We let it play through. Yeah. Steve is always thinking fashion and failing miserably every time. Oh, hell yeah. He doesn't fucking put on capri pants thinking they're just shorts. Is he wearing them today? Yes. Call him in here immediately. I have to see his legs. All right, let here he comes. Oh, my God. Hold on. We'll get... L let me get the rest of his backstage with He's ONA. He's wearing Marianne's pants from uh, <laughs> Gilligan's Island. <laughs> That's exactly what those and he are. He has the skipper's body. <laughs> Before we get him in, let's get the rest of his backstage. But he's he's lying through his teeth. Wouldn't see whatsoever. Then I turn around and I look at my 15 fiance and I go, "Who fucking cares what they think?" I'm right. I could just wear her clothes. <laughs> no, not quite. She actually bought them for me. So she says they're trendy. I have to believe her. Yes, they're a huge trend in the gay culture right now. Are you making that up? No. Fair enough. As Steve C's mask of heterosexuality slowly slipped away, we went to ONA staff members E-Rock, Mars, Travis, and Danny to get their take on Steve's pants. Ew. I just saw these. <laughs> you just saw why? These awful shorts. They're great shorts. Do you think those are jeans that a straight masculine man would wear? Uh, I don't think most gay people would wear those either. Hey, Mars, did you see what Steve was wearing today? Uh, I, w I noticed yes. What did you think? Well, at first, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I thought it was uh, long shorts until he sat up, and I saw these fuzzy knickers. <laughs> <laughs> knickers? Yeah, I think they call them knickers. <laughs> Travis, did you see Steve's pants today? I tried, Yes, I did see them. What did you think? I thought they were quite gay. <laughs> Danny, did you see what Steve was wearing today? Yeah. Do you think Steve purposely wears things that people think are gay? Dude, just leave the guy alone, man. They're they're sexy. They're fashionable. They're coming back this year. I think they look good. That's weird. I suppose everyone's entitled to their opinions, but if Steve's pants aren't gay, they're certainly heavily bi curious. It seems the only thing Steve does worse than producing a radio show is convincing people he's attracted to women. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been Backstage with O and A. Wow. Oh damn. Steve's right outside the door. Damn. Steve. Here comes Steve. Now, I didn't notice these yeah. before. Okay. Steve. Yeah. Steve. You, you were lying. What? You, you're you always thinking about no, fashion. I'm always thinking about vanity. I'm up. Like, I don't know. Vanity and you fashion. You put those on thinking they were long shorts, and you have Absolutely. no clue what a capri pants is? I don't know what capri pants Come are. On, I really don't. I'm just fixing Come the back. Thank you, sweetie. Everyone knows what a capri pants is. I really, I, I know what long shorts are, and I've got a handful of pairs. So you think those are long shorts? Yeah. They're not? No, no, not right. even close. I'll no. fully admit I'm a vain, egocentric prick, but... Let me tell you what I, long shorts are. Uh -huh. Long shorts are shorts that are long, yet the They're leg baggy. doesn't taper. They're very right. baggy and right. long. Okay. Like, uh, over the weekend, I was wearing long shorts. But so, okay, and so technically, shorts, if these were long shorts, they should end at the knee? No, no they should no. be big. They are big around. Thinner. They are so much thinner at the end of them than they are at like mid thigh. Okay. They, they should just go them. down if they go down all one side. Those if you watch Gilligan's Island, yeah. Mary Ann <laughs> is <laughs> wearing those exact same <laughs> pants. This is not helping. No. <laughs> These are designer like long shorts. Steve, I don't no. think I don't think there's a guy out there that could pull off the capri pants. No. Honestly, they, are horrendous. they couldn't be gayer if they came with cum splattered on the back. <laughs> Jimmy, did. you don't like them? Would you wear those? No, I wouldn't. Steve, uh, Steve's pants look like something that Sasha Baron Cohen would wear as Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what he would wear. And that's trendy, right? And wow. very gay. I think Evan's yeah. got the uh, the long shorts on today, which, the, the, you know. Okay, so they, like they'd have to go. Abercrombie and Fitch. 
kind of baggy. They stay big. Yeah, let's say. Well, okay, so they go just, just below, below the knee. knee. Yes. Those are like, those are considered like big. sort of long shorts. They got like cargo pockets on them. They don't get all tight around the knee area. Exactly. Those are guy pants. Yours are very tight everywhere. Like, very tight. <laughs> and, and, and and even around the bottom where they're capri'd. Hoffman from Virginia. <laughs> you couldn't find capri. You couldn't find those pants in the men's section, could you? No, I couldn't, but I did find them in the women's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, there, there they are. <laughs> and it's the brand that he's wearing, too. So. Holy women, shit. Women See, wear capri pants. pants. Then why would they make them in this size, though? A lot Fat of girls. women. Why are you sweating so <laughs> profusely? What? I sweat all the time. Uh, <laughs> you're sweating like crazy. <laughs> I always sweat, though. No. Women are wearing capri pants like crazy right now. Guys, not so much. No. A lot of gay guys are. For real? Yeah, there's a big thing in that with very, but it's a very gay look. Like, it's a very effeminate, like, I work in the fashion industry. I'm the gayest like guy you've ever bottom. seen. It's a bottom look. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Very gay. All right, I'm on the men's shorts. All right. And there's nothing that looks like those. The right closest there. thing is right there, but it that those, comes, that up, comes to up to the, the knees. knees. All right. So yeah. it's about it's about but, 2 inches below the knee. But in all fairness, no, it's to, not. But in no, all fairness to Steve, they're not the they're knee. not making capri pants that big for women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're really not. <laughs> they would be fucking huge. Wow. So I don't know if this is funny. I, I have a feeling it might be. It says, uh, and if you are wearing those hold jeans, on, hold on, you're hold wearing two hundred and sixteen dollars shorts. Wow! Jay, uh, my my chick bought them for me. So, oh. Jay from Huntington. Does anyone else picture Steve getting dressed to goodbye horses? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? It's from uh, Silence from, uh, of the, the Lambs. Oh, 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 I'm okay. crying over <laughs> right. you. Oh, right, right. Okay, I, I knew there was a reason why that would be funny. You like these capris? Would you fuck me? <laughs> Neither <laughs> would I. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck me hard. Steve's shorts are made by Would Victoria's you? Secret FFS. The True Religion? Yeah. True Religions. Not many guys can pull off the True reli Religion no, thing. No. Voss wears True Religion yeah, jeans. Exactly. Bobby Kelly wears them too, doesn't he? Yeah, you, the what beacon of masculinity, Bobby Kelly. E Rock's got something. And Voss was a, a weight problem. <laughs> Fucking purse. <laughs> and Bobby's sexy point look. E Rock's going to the mic. I thought Steve might want to just complete the outfit. <laughs> what is oh, that, a Lane oh, Bryant nice. shirt? Yeah. <laughs> nice uh, animal pattern Lane Bryant shirt from his glory days. I think Steve would. Wear. Would you wear that? I, I I have worn it. Give me the thing. How are you going to put it on? Good. Good. Glitter on it. That's right. Prove him wrong, Steve. Yeah. Put on this shirt. Oh, please. I'm already... Now tuck your penis between your legs. <laughs> I'm already in the hole. Look at the pockets. They're like little sweet buttons. Mm -hmm. oh, he's got a little, uh, Steve, you don't have to wear everything your girl buys you. Sometimes you gotta say, I can't my girl, wear this. Yeah, my girl buys yeah. me stuff. I'm like, what are you, insane? I can't fucking wear yes. this. My you girl brought me rubbers. I won't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Sometimes you have to say, you know, nice thought, but I'm, uh, you know, I'm returning this. Women don't buy things. It's an old hack <laughs> point, but, oh boy. <laughs> wow, this is... <laughs> this is three x by the way. That's a three x. So... Okay. <laughs> fucking hot. Kind of um, everyone. Get your cameras. Everyone oh, noticed your cover, by the way. My girl bought them. <laughs> she did. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you go I, on and, you know and the, wear it to work the next day. The hole in his story is that he's like, oh, I don't know. Why. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. But he knew that they were designer jeans. And yeah. that they were oh, I know to be now because remember. Sam's been doing this for about a half an hour. So I call and by the way, the hole in his story is in the back of these pants. <laughs> <laughs> Danny is exactly right because the second I started making fun of him, he said, "Sam, these are designer jeans." These are trendy jeans. These jeans are worth more than your life. <laughs> That's why I stopped the backstage with ONA because he made it sound like, I don't know. I, I, I don't pay attention to fashion. No, he knew. He, he knew, knew very well. He's very proud of his fashion let, sense. Let me say hi to Dan in Philly. Hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Good morning, boys. Hey. Hey, uh, check the flap over the zipper. I believe, if my information is correct, that the flap is reversed for women's pants as opposed to men's pants. Um, no, 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 the, like, look at the front. What do you mean, like? No, you're, it's flapped over the same yeah. way. No, that's guys. Oh my god, they're tight around your crotch. They yeah, are really Jesus. tight around your crotch, huh? I'm oh, back, oh, I'm, wow. I'm fully back at the gym after, after a two month absence and fucking eating, like, horribly. Mm. Don't they call them clam diggers or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> are they? No. Clam diggers. You got yeah, two, we you got two the... clams in the sand. Getting but ready for the picking. Steve, and... if those are men's jeans, can you please find them on the website? <laughs> 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 I just look for them. Come on, find them. Uh, let's say hi to Bob in New York. Bob? 
Yeah, I do, and I was wondering... Dude, you know what? The guy wants to dress like that. You know what, dude? It's really easy to dress however you but want to dress. But aren't they girl pants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Bob. <laughs> I do, and it was a men's pants. What size are they? What size? They're waist size 42 right now. Oh, okay. They're... Okay, uh, sure, yeah, but is there a number on the yeah, back? Yeah, is there just like, a number? Like 20. <laughs> <laughs> like those chick sizes. I don't even know what they mean. I wear a, an eight. I think they're men's capri pants, but I don't know. What Still, they're guys wearing. aren't wearing capri pants. Yeah. There's a huge. This is a pretty hip place. This Sirius XM is anyone walking around with capris? No, I'm telling Same. you, like capris are a look that is 100 percent effeminate. Like guys who wear capris are trying to pull off a very effeminate gay look. It's not a cool thing for guys to wear capris and try to come off as masculine. Yeah, they, it, it's really not. Mm -hmm. It's uh, mm -hmm. But look at my calves. Yeah, you have big calves, but they're, they're not long shorts. They're, they're capris. What the hell is that, E-Rock? <laughs> yeah, E-Rock is obsessed with Steve's breakfast. Yeah. Oh, no. it every day. With everybody else's, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. With the whole concept of this. We get, a, we get <laughs> another Nikki sighting, little Nikki. Oh, I must. What is hey, it? Wait a minute, he's coming back. Yeah. Why is Nikki coming is back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why Nikki? He made the face. He offered just... No. It's, what uh, are you eating for breakfast, Steve? Uh, leftover buffalo wings. Oh, thank God you're not eating like shit anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you had oh, surgery, wait. Steve. Why don't you go have some egg whites? What are you doing? Oh, I had egg whites. Hold on, but Sam just brought up a great yeah. point. Didn't you just a mere 10 minutes ago say that you stopped eating like shit and you hit the gym again? Uh, I did hit the gym. After and... eating like shit for two months? <laughs> I never, I never said, quote? You I, just said it. I did start eating the gym, and I, and, I, and I have been eating like shit, and I continue to eat like shit. Why are you like shit? Just... <laughs> you know what, dude? Uh, uh, truth, you... I'm an addict, and I don't drink. I don't, oh, do, I don't do drugs. Yeah. I don't smoke. Uh, Why can't but, you be a salad addict? Yeah, I don't know. I because salad sucks at least right now. You're right though. Salad I'm done sucks. With salads too. I fucking hate them. I eat because I'm unhappy. I fucking punch and salads. And I'm unhappy because I eat. <laughs> Give me a salad so I can punch it. <laughs> I fucking hate salads. Steve, Steve's right. I'm with him on that. He's soaking wet. <laughs> Why I you, sweat. What the fuck are you on? That you're sweating so much. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely Monster. nothing. We all have. Oh yeah. Well yeah. I, I did have two monsters already. What? I have a. I did two monsters already. Two I have a communicate from Steve's girl. Ooh. Oh. Okay. The lovely. True, religion brand jeans dot com. Mm -hmm. Try under men's shorts. I did. That's what we've been trying to <laughs> look at. That exact thing. We're on the website. I, I believe they're men's shorts, but the problem is I don't really see guys wearing the I capris, that's all. Ones. But if you want to wear the capris, I mean, yeah, what, what, who am I? Steve, if these are the ones that you're wearing... I dress like shit everywhere. Then my legs are too short. You don't pull it off. Uh, right. You don't pull it off. <laughs> you should just be shorter and wear them as long pants. <laughs> <laughs> Chop my they, probably, they probably made him that big as a goof and, and, and put him in the store. Let's see if anyone bought these. The one. back's different. Yeah, it's, it's, not, not, it's not the same. It's not as big. It's not the cut. <laughs> Fringe is not in, by the way. Fringe is so far from being in right now. Fringe is so 1974. But those have fringes yeah. on them. The ones he's looking at. Yeah, those are not. Fringes fringe is not. You got in. the fringes too on them. Yeah. The ones yeah. that look like you took a cheese grater to the. To Jeansize.com to check size. That's what Jeff's saying. Uh, J e e n size.com. Right, Jeff. I like hillbilly uh, jeans you're wearing. Like the hillbillies would wear those barefoot. Sam, drag oh, me yeah. there, and they eat possum. Uh, you look like the Hulk in regular pants. <laughs> <laughs> the Hulk is cool, though. Yes. Are we friends with yeah. Al Q yet? Where are we at with them? Actually, I think Mars made some headway with the host because. Ah, you're so <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I think. What's next? I, I, th I think we have somewhat of a working relationship with them. Can now. we drag Steve over there and, and, and get their opinion? Can we bring one of them in here so they're on our show? So can, we, can we tell we have an opinion ask, on men's pants? That's Larry. He's pretty cool. Oh, you know, you know Larry? Larry. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I met these guys a few oh, weeks ago. Oh, Go shopping? Oh, where? Oh, hey. Go shopping? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Can we bring one of those yeah, out? Yeah, we'll um, they might oh. be doing their own show. Oh, my yeah. God. That's, there it is. The Hulk pants. Yeah, that's what Steve looks like. <laughs> He's the Hulk pants. <laughs> The Hulk's too big. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry or when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, wait, let's say hi to Footer. Footer! Yes, gentlemen, listen to me. You're getting it all wrong. I'm a European traveler. I do European <laughs> traveling on the side. 
Play the boys. <laughs> I guess they're popular in Europe, Steve. Do you know that? I had no idea. Let's about go that. to Mark. Mark, how are you, buddy? Hey, yesterday I was in Russell, Illinois. I'm a truck driver. Yeah. And I seen this truck driver. He had to weigh 400 pounds. He had 50 style black glasses on. He was maybe 40, and he was wearing khaki capris with flip flops. Hmm. All right, who's who's wearing that? Ashton. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but but Steve's not in Hollywood. But he's Ashton Kutcher. Right. Yeah, Ashton. I would imagine Hollywood guys are wearing them. He Gay like guys, according idiot. to Sam. Uh, European guys, according to that other dude. And that's yeah. it. And maybe a couple band guys. Your good. The Capris are good. Uh, when you fuck the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn Ace. Salad sucks and so do I. <laughs> Salad sucks and so do I. They're killing you, Steve. I know. Let's go to Stryker. It's my turn. Stryker. Stryker. Good evening. Uh, hello. You know, the part that makes us even gayer is that Sam knows way too much about gay clothing style yeah. and the gay lifestyle for somebody who claims to be so straight. Sam, comment. Sam, strikers all over your shit saying you, you know way too much about the gay uh, lifestyle. Define yourself. Well, part of my job is to keep in touch with the cultures that Opie and Anthony might not keep in touch with. That way, this is a well-informed radio show. So the only thing I'm guilty of is doing my job well. Yeah, but you've, you've also kissed a bunch of guys. Yeah, but that was also for the oh, show. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the greatest gay no, Dad, Is that the greatest gay shots. picture ever? Come on. There's a fat-ass guy wearing Daisy Dukes up his ass crack. <laughs> Half the bottom of his ass is hanging out. Chad said this is what's next for Steve. <laughs> I said, what? What? <laughs> it's totally normal. I would never wear that. It's so 2002. <laughs> 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 that is a great one. That is, I gotta tweet that shit. Move that screen over here. <laughs> wow. And he's up. a big bear. He's got yeah, like the big a beard. Uh, yeah, the one on his face, not one on his arm. I think Pride is at the end of the month. That 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 would be a place where we'd see some capri uh, some capri shorts on gentlemen. Oh, the gay Pride. Uh... Yes. Mm. Which you'll be going to? Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, some interviews? <laughs> I'll probably yeah. wear normal man pants, though. No, I just want to make sure you're going. I got some good audio out of the whole thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> we got Bruce in uh, Pennsylvania wants to defend Steve. Bruce? Hey, guys. I want to defend Steve because, you know, I spent like nine months in Egypt last year. And the Italian sailors that we were stationed with, they wore capris all the time. Uh, they also carried men purse and kissed each other on the fucking lips. <laughs> Steve is dressed like an Italian sailor. Yes, he is. <laughs> Ooh, sailor. Oh. All right. Uh, let's say hi to Clutch in Baltimore. Clutch. Hey, I want to know if he looks like little Abner from the cartoon. Oh, uh, yeah. L little Abner. No, it was like a uh, no. comic strip from. Oh, he behaves British. like little Abner Louis. Punch it out, boy. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so drag him over to OutQ. I will. Once they're on break, we'll get. Uh, There's right. someone in here? Or we can get one of the guys here. in here. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're doing their show now, but. Just go in there and yell yeah. at them <laughs> when they're done. Yeah, once they're done. Knock on their door while they're live with well, Steve. Because Let's there's last, some shit yeah. going on at this they place. Don't, they they, they don't like Sam a whole lot. They so. started hating me why, because, why? because because I blocked them from going to their live show to ask them who they were. Yeah, they they don't like Sam a whole lot. Oh. Ever since that yeah, day, they yeah. really don't. They really don't. Why? They don't like being interrupted. They're doing what? Their show. Their show. Why don't we wait till they're on break? Get well, someone who they like more. Mars. They, they love Mars. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get Mars sure in here. Mars. That's because that's where men are from. I'm getting, I'm getting word. Uh -oh. I'm getting word from Travis uh, that we heard from Liam, who's the guest booker here, and he's saying that AlQ has already mentioned Steve's Capris on their show today. No way! <laughs> Whoa! Have they really? For real? That's what I'm hearing. Steve is the gayest. Wow, Steve! They said that it is not hot. Oh, well, I told you they're hot not in fashion. Uh, Mars, get oh, in no. here. Mars. Mars. Mars, you're making friends with the OutQ guys? Yes, Mr. Larry Ooh. Flick. Larry is Flick's all right? He's a friend of mine. Flick. All right. Flick. Uh, yeah. How's he a friend I'm sure of they didn't rhyme that in a school. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit. Flick likes dick. <laughs> so, uh, Larry Flick is on the uh, show? Yes, he is. How do you know Larry? Uh, he came through the shop and uh, someone oh, introduced no. me to him. Uh, what shop? Oh. The engineering shop. 
There's an oh. engineering shop around this I thought story. it was a gay club. Yeah. <laughs> well, the shop. shop. Going down to the shop. Bunch of men with no shirts yeah. and shorts and wrenches. Oh, the shop. <laughs> so, what, can we get one of those guys in here on the break just to, to talk about Steve's pants? We could try, but the last time I spoke to him, he, they were annoyed with us a little bit. Why? Because we had some thugs in the corridor stopping him from going to his show. That we're thug, trying to get to know people that day. Sam. Sam, he Sam weighs 110 pounds. Sam's How much you weigh, Sam, for real? I weigh 135 pounds. He's a Fuck twink. You. No, you don't. All right, 130 pounds. <laughs> You're a twink. <laughs> he did use that uh, word, twink? thug. Oh. What is <laughs> Let's say hi to Craig. Craig. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Yeah, there's, uh, I guess in Providence Town, there's this thing called Bear Week. It would be perfect for Steve. We it's, did, I guess it's all the... It's yeah. A, we did a whole break on uh, the gay cruise, the, the gay bears. bear cruise. Because they had all uh, sorts of events. Remember I all those thought. crazy events they had? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Look at the bears. Oh, <laughs> oh. The Province Town Bears. <laughs> guys, that's, that's oh, look at these guys. Look at Steve. Yeah. Oh, look, at Steve. <laughs> look at Steve. Look at Steve. These guys are just bears. <laughs> Big beards and hairy chests. <laughs> oh, God. So damn. happy to be touching each other. <laughs> Did these guys fuck each other all weekend. Oh, my God. What's your man on man kissing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Steve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Why are you fucking lemon party? What's wrong with you guys? Just because he's old guys helping each other out. No, he's oh. yucky because he got lost on the way to that guy's house. <laughs> There's supposed to be four of us. <laughs> Did we ever figure out who the gayest guy is in this picture? Steve. <laughs> yes, there's always Steve. I, I don't it. know. It's definitely Lemon Party rules. The guy laying back getting his dick sucked and kissing is pretty gay because but the he guy was, sucking the dick is, is probably the gayest. But somebody said that kissing another guy's gayer than blowing another guy. So, Maybe. Well the not guy laying on his back, if he wasn't kissing the speaking. other guy, he probably would be the less less of the dudes as far as the gay thing goes. The one guy who's kissing the gay the guy on the back and then he's holding his chest gingerly. Could be the gayest he guy. He might be, yeah. Because the guy's sucking dick. He's like, yeah, whatever. We've all made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> We've all made mistakes. <laughs> How do you decide which one is the gayest guy in that picture? Uh, we've tried to distinguish this before, and it's got to be the kissing hand Arnold on Palmer? chest guy. I, I think it might have been Louis C.K., I think, but uh, I think he had a brilliant answer for this one, and it was, remember, it was the yeah. guy taking the picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was what he said. Yeah. No, I think that question was, who would you rather be in this picture if you had yeah, to be Yeah, one? that was oh, it. Okay. I'm, I'm if you thinking, had to be someone, who would you be? Right. And it was the guy taking the picture. But I, I'm thinking the guy taking the picture you know, got right back into that uh, into the action. Into the scene? He's like, oh, i got to take a picture of this, but then he jumped back in. I bet just one of them who took it. It was probably on an auto timer. I'll bet you it was the guy uh, sucking the dick. Like, the other two were just kissing and he ran and set the auto timer right. and then just jumped down and popped that hog in his mouth and it went hold ching on. hold on <laughs> i have it set <laughs> it comes over wow. or actually he said it wrong it was set for two hours ago when they were all wearing clothes and smiling they didn't plan on getting caught blowing each other <laughs> john hall from boston the sirius xm engineer shop a bunch of guys no shirts flip-flops sexy capris and making <laughs> docking sleeves because they all got their foreskin clipped <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Uh, all right, well. I don't know, Steve. Yeah, yeah we, we can't I'm trying to help you out. It out. No, I know. The Capri look is a little rough. They're long shorts. And just because your girl buys it doesn't mean you have to wear it. Well, I know yeah. that. I, know I always feel bad, but I go, yeah. look, I can't. I, no, I, I, I can't wear this. I got shit on hangers in my closet that I will never take off the hanger. And it's, you know, old clothes that my, my chick bought me years ago. Yeah. Don't let him get away with the my girl bought me thing because he's over there defending them, talking about how fashionable they are and how expensive they are they and are. how fans. Yeah, he likes them. It's not anything to do with his girl buying them. Maybe I'll just cut two inches off the off the knee thing and then they'll be. No, because then that fringe that they put on for you will be ruined. But gay people buy shirts because <laughs> every picture of gay people of uh you know gay uh, people uh, yeah. they uh they're just shirtless with their arms around each other. <laughs> is he brushing that guy's nipple with his um, arm around him? Yeah, kind of. I think he's brushing is. both gentlemen's nipples. What a time. What a time they're, they're all having. 
Exactly. I guess Steve and Sam walked over to OutQ. I think they wanted yes. Steve and his capri pants on OutQ this morning. So Who wouldn't? We'll have the audio in a few minutes. Wow. Not sure when that's going down, but it's going down. Get it? Both. Going down. Oh, <laughs> that's some kind of a joke, I think. Thank you. Thank oh, you, all dear friends. For coming to my birthday! <laughs> I was just handed a note. Forrest was disgusted by Steve's capri pants. Oh, God. And we didn't even ask him about who it. Who is it? Those were, could, he, hey, can, you, can you bring Steve in? There's just a big, tight ass in front of my face. Yeah, like, here's Steve right here. Not Steve. only are they capris, but they're too tight. Here she comes. Thank you. Well, can you tell him? Because he thinks we're him. just messing with him. I, I told Because we like to mess with him. I told oh, him. Steve. I thought, <laughs> I just got here's Steve. a real, I don't real know man. You, and I don't, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, nothing I don't Forrest, don't hold back, please. Nothing I don't cost more than 10 bucks, and my wife didn't buy. So, yeah, no, I wasn't even like trying to be insulting. I thought that was a joke that he had those on. <laughs> like I thought he lost the bet or something. Like I'm not. Like, I was like, oh, it's, just, it's it's humorous, you know. Into the frying pan, out of the fire. It's just fucking. I just got Into shredded. The frying pan but, out of the fire. Out of the frying pan, but, out of the and, fire. And, Sorry, and it's I worse. Fucking... Those are like true religion jeans, right? Yes, they those are. Those are expensive, crappy jeans. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is exactly but, but what we bashed them about. Don't put them in the jean category. They're just put them in the, the gay category. What are they? The are capris. They cool, culottes. Remember Coolots? He's wearing Coolots. Sam, what's up? <laughs> he just said on the gay channel, he, he they cost two hundred twenty dollars. Oh, oh, really? Come on, yeah. And you got shredded by the oh, they, the they guys well, I tell you, it's Larry worth... and Keith just beat the shit out of me for for having from looking normal from the thigh up and then completely. So the gay guys wouldn't even wear this. Yeah, the gay guys wouldn't wouldn't touch this. I got called Laurie Petri. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's not good, Steve. Thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's not good. Yeah. Wow. You know? <laughs> Call me Laurie Petri. No, I didn't think it was fucking endearing, but... And Forrest said they're really tight, too. Little, yeah. A little too tight. A little too tight. Yeah. A little too... But you know what? Yeah. For I'm 220 not... bucks, it's worth it. I mean, everybody else at the office is having a much better day because of your pants. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us have had... It, it's worth, it's $220 worth of a laugh to me. <laughs> yeah, look at that. The joy you it's brought. your money. Well, you sure I, have a positive spin on things. Yeah. I fucking love Forrest Griffin. It's hilarious. We all, we can all, I mean, I'm I'm better for having seen this. But it cheered me right up. <laughs> yeah. I slept literally three hours last night, and I saw his pants, and I was just excited to do this. I'm, like, yes. I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the kind of place where they like to party in capris <laughs> that are tight nonetheless. Thanks, Steve. You had to wear the capris today. Oh, with, uh, Forrest Griffin. with fringes. Yeah, he'll come back. Yeah. We, got, we got Joe <laughs> Frazier tomorrow. Bring your sundress. <laughs> <laughs> Is Frazier tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. yeah tomorrow. Scott, We're waiting for the audio of Steve on uh, OutQ. I, get, I heard they gave him a trash. Yeah, good beating. Steve yeah. showed up with capri pants. Wow. Yeah, what literally Francine? capri pants. <laughs> what, Francine? What, what's no. up? I think those are possibly the gayest pants <laughs> I've ever seen, seen on this. a man. <laughs> Even his bulge is showing. <laughs> what are you eating there, Francine? His, uh, you can see an imprint of his penis on through his pants. What, and are, you, what are you eating? Oh, it's a banana. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Banana. A banana. They have accent. potassium. That's K on the scale of energy. <laughs> <laughs> the scale of energy? You mean the periodic table of elements? I failed that class two times. Of course so you did. <laughs> <laughs> of energy. I hated that chemistry shit. Too. No one likes it. No one likes it. It was right. very difficult. I don't doubt for you. Yes. Yeah, that was. So the first time I tried, I think I got a D, which is pretty good considering I tried. Yeah. And then the second time I just slept. I was like, I'm not even going to try this. <laughs> and she got a B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to try this. <laughs> she rules. It was too much stuff and chemicals and... That's what chemistry is, <laughs> chemicals. That's why it's called chemistry. So the first project that I had to do, the lady was like, well, if you get any of this crap on your hands, it's going to turn a different color and it's going to be like that for like two weeks. So I was like, I think I'll just sleep. <laughs> why would I do this? <laughs> this is stupid. You know, oh, in an some odd way. There's some logic there. Yeah, right? she almost makes sense. There's some logic there. Yeah, it's like when one of my teachers told me in ninth grade. She said we had to touch a snake so we could feel the similarity of the birds to the dinosaurs. And I was like, why would we touch a snake? They're scary. 
Right. So I failed that class, too. <laughs> I was actually the biology teacher with his fucking zipper open. <laughs> you have to touch the snake, Francine. <laughs> she was a woman. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And the snake was a garden snake. So she said, oh, you shouldn't be afraid of garden snakes. But I was like, it's a snake. Right. Good point. <laughs> There's a uh, lot of logic there. Ain't touching this motherfucking snake in this motherfucking yeah. classroom. <laughs> Told that this, bitch to go fuck herself. <laughs> mother freaking. Yeah, that was private school, and I got kicked out. A private school? I went to Sandy Spring Friends School in Olney in Maryland. Friends school? Yeah. So what's what up? What does for, that mean? Yeah. Well, it's a friend school. It means the Quakers came up with it. Look at this pig on Tyra. Really? Yeah, it's a Quaker school. Ugh. And, and, we get to like do Quakery stuff. Ah, look at this pig on Tyra. That balloon, thirteen, and really fat already. She's oh. nice hair though. That's yeah, sweet. that's wonderful. <laughs> she is huge, and she's again a flat. So, look at her boobies. They don't come up over her belly. Daryl allows Tasha, thirteen, to eat whatever she wants. Oh, he's an enabling fuck. That's a, it has yeah, to be a father, a right? Nah, that's a problem. Where's uh, the audio of Steve? I mean, Francine's killing, but... Yeah, come on. We, we love Francine. Steve. I, we have, want... I have some news, if you'd like. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, Francine pregnant? has news. Huh? Do pregnant? we have to explain Francine Me, to pregnant? the new listeners? No. All right, fuck She him. was our intern years ago, and um, she and I have a, a very uh, a good relationship. Oh, a very good one. Yeah. Why? Why is it good? We love each other. Yes, and if Jimmy had never slept with transsexuals, I would be with him. Wow. And if you were transsexual, I'd be with you. <laughs> <laughs> that was holding you back, Francine? Yeah, it's too much for me. I'm very homophobic. Yeah? Yeah. So That's why whenever Steve walks by, she just goes, ah, and hides. <laughs> <laughs> I come from a very homophobic family. Do you? Nothing against the gays. It just, you know, it's my background and stuff. And I'm Catholic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not yeah a I, grew, marriage thing, I grew up the same way with uh, other people, not gays, but the other other people. It was just about my upbringing. Yeah, yeah. It's just really weird. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you find yourself, you know, using derogatory terms for certain people, and, and you don't really mean it. It's just the way you were it's raised. Just the way I was raised. <laughs> Jeez, that like, works with me. Like last week, I went out with my model friend in D.C., mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, it was a fashion show. But um, I didn't expect that many gay people to be there. Cause At a fashion show? <laughs> yeah. So um, some guy comes up to us and starts talking to us, <laughs> and he was really, really nice. And I thought he was straight. Yes, he was. And then we're walking towards another club because we were going to go bar hopping. And uh, he goes, so uh, you were really feeling that model, weren't you? And it was some girl. She was really pretty. Her name's Kate Michaels. She's actually really hot. He was like, yeah, you were looking at her. You really want her, don't you? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, are you, do you go both ways? I was like, no, I don't go both ways. He's, I was like, you know, I'm really into dick. You know, dick all up in my mouth, dick all in my pussy and my ass. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, mm-hmm, me too. Oh, oh, and I shit. was like, "Oh wow, you're Damn, gay!" Damn, yo. Yeah. So the girl I was with ended up sleeping with him that night, which was so weird. Ew. I was sleeping over. That's how I knew they slept together. She slept with a gay guy. Well, then he must. You know, that's probably a hell of an act he's got. Then, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm so gay. I, is that the chick right there? Uh, she's pretty hot. She pretty, is. That's so, your friend. I saw. I met her there, and I was trying to get her card so we could be friends, but she didn't. Oh, you wanted to be friends. Oh, that's cool. She's a model. She's Miss DC 2006. What does she pose for? Longneck.com. Jesus. <laughs> no, she's she really sure she's living Loch Ness. No, you <laughs> <laughs> she's really pretty. She is. If she has a fucking long neck. <laughs> I think you're Jimmy hating. Jimmy spoils no, everything. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Why do you She's spoil beautiful. everything? She's oh, beautiful. That neck. No, she's All right. So the neck I like a girl long. who can eat an apple out of a tree. <laughs> well, the neck is a little long. Of course it is. All right. You but have it's to meet her. statuesque looking. She's very pretty. Let's go to Dano in Kentucky. Dano. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good evening. Hey, uh, I was wondering, did you mean garter snake? It's a garter snake, not a garter snake. Yes, it is a what garter is snake. Day and age, a black chick, prejudice against trannies. You believe that shit? <laughs> In this day and age. In this day and age. All right. Francine is just trying to find a reason why she shouldn't love me. Oh. That's all it is. She's afraid of our love. Well, you're sitting on his lap there, Francine. So, you, you know. I sit on everybody's lap. Don't make me not feel special. Okay, I don't sit on everybody's <laughs> lap. I had a girl. <laughs> We've discussed this. Oh, well, let's go there. Where's our yeah. audio? I'm very cooperative. Oh, what do you mean by that? Are you? Yeah. You're like submissive? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm into cavemen. But you don't. But I remember you saying you don't give blowjobs. And last night I didn't, and I think the guy who's dating me is gonna dump me now. Because you're not, you're not blowing him. Why yep. not? Why what? aren't you blowing him? Well, uh, I'm really afraid of AIDS. That's pretty much it. What, a nerd. what is this guy doing? <laughs> that makes you afraid that he has the AIDS. Well, when we were going out like five years ago, he cheated on me with his girlfriend, which was really, really bad. So why are you back with him? I don't know. That's a good question. Low self-esteem. Yeah, probably. Yeah. She's 29. Ch yeah, um, yeah you know. you're ready to flip Fra the odometer. Francine, how could he cheat on you with his girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> good good question, Dan. That got like past us all. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> Well, um, we were going out for about, I think, a month or something, and I thought, okay, maybe it's time we had sex or something. So I had sex with him, and then after he had sex with me, he rolls over and goes, my girlfriend's going to be here in like six hours, so you need to leave. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. So what'd you do? Left? Yeah. <laughs> six hours? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my girlfriend's coming back from a trip next week. You got to get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, I know. She just, yeah, she, just, she's it. She just boarded the red eye. Can you go? <laughs> yeah. It was a very bad experience. But you're back, yeah. then, so it wasn't that bad. Um, I guess so. You good? Does he treat you good? Well, he pays for everything. So. I mean, you know, you like Every the guys guy pay for everything. sexually. Yeah, most guys will yeah, do he's that. Treat you good. good? Yeah. Do you go down on you? He did last week. So I guess that's why he was expecting it. How oh, it? okay. So what? Well, how was he expecting it? How did you know he was expecting it? Did he say, "Could you suck my dick?" Or did yeah, he pretty much position himself? And what did you say? No. I said no. Uh, maybe next time or something. Oh, and oh. then and then what happened? Um, did he go like, "Oh fuck"? Or well, he was like, "You're gonna, you're gonna lose me if you don't start sucking my dick." <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Class act. I love You're gonna lose this fucking special man here. <laughs> you don't start sucking my. Boy, dick. what a keeper you got. Thank you. Did he lick your pussy good? <laughs> he was all right. You know. What was wrong? That's no good. Yeah. What was wrong? He was all right. And all That's right's terrible. not good. I've what, had better. What was he doing wrong? Maybe you could teach the guys out there. Yeah. He didn't go down long enough. He didn't make you come. Um, not that time. Oh, and he's awful. Yeah. He's awful. He did it in between uh, the Cavaliers and the game that they were playing with the other people. So that was pretty special. The magic. In between? What do you mean in between? Halftime? Half time? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he had 15 minutes. Pretty much. We got mm -hmm. the audio? Yeah. All right, good. The filler's over. Thanks, Francine. <laughs> well, that was... <laughs> You're quite welcome. Pretty, pretty good. No, filler. Francine does very, very good for us. We love Francine. All right. Uh, love you guys. She's with a sexual dud, though. Why don't we start with this? Uh, uh, Sam so took Steve and his capri pants into OutQ, the gay <laughs> channel here at Sirius XM. The guys don't really like us. Well, they changed their opinions a little. A little bit? Oh, yeah. Good day. All right. And uh, how did it go? It went well. They uh, were also not approving of Steve's wardrobe choice. Really? Yeah. They thought he looked like a giant asshole. Really? Not in those words. But, oh, but yeah. not in a good way? <laughs> <laughs> We got some highlights. Steve going on OutQ with his capri pants. And the question that, that began our last hour was, <laughs> if you're a big old butch straight guy, why are you wearing Laura Petri pants? Okay. Why is it suddenly 1962 when you were on the Dick Van Dyke show? <laughs> what's up okay. With that? What's up with that? What's, what's your damage, Heather? <laughs> so, he's here. Uh, Say hello. Wait, what the fuck's going on? They just call Steve a heifer. A heifer? Shit is funny. So, they were talking about Steve... Yeah, they Way did before a, we went. They did a break early this morning, apparently, because they saw Steve walking around near their studio in his awful capri pants, and so they were trying to figure out why somebody like Steve would dress in those pants. And I all guess right. that was their break earlier today. Oh, all right, okay. all right. Now we'll play this audio. And the question that that began our last hour was: If you are a big old butch straight guy. Why are you wearing Laura Petri pants? Okay. Why is it suddenly 1962 when you were on the Dick Van Dyke show? <laughs> what's okay. What's up with that? What's what's your damage, Heather? <laughs> so, he's here. Uh, Say hello. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the kids at home. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hi you guys. walked in. You walked in. You walked in. <laughs> wearing capris. Wearing, Don't be mad. Wearing uh, why capris. Are you okay. I'm I wearing guess. Wranglers, and, okay. I'm the, and I'm the gay guy in this, the room. But go ahead. For the record, this will be the last day. Hi, I'm Steve. Uh, <laughs> I'm Steve. I'm the executive producer of the Opie and Anthony Show. 
So that's how the executive producer of the Opie and Anthony show makes his presence felt for the very first time on LQ. Great. How he was introduced. Yes. And the gay guy's wearing Wranglers. <laughs> yes. Great. Great, Steve. <laughs> Anyone notice that the gay guy sounds like a Muppet? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, ex Kermit. Steve explains his pants. When, when, so we go to get coffee. We're oh, on so when Steve said fucking assholes, yeah. was he commenting on what they were doing when he walked in? <laughs> or just... Yes, he meant that as a fucking verb, yeah. not an adjective. <laughs> So we go to get coffee. We're minding our own B.I. business, trying to get back in the room before Christine W. stops singing her song like good old Queen should. Exactly. And there he is in, and they're homemade. Okay. Capri pants. <laughs> you know why they're homemade? Holy shit. Did he make these pants and that's why we can't no. find them on the fucking website? No, he's claiming that they were purchased. He's adamant Wait about the Wait a minute. He had his they chick... Would, uh, they would hold know, on a minute. These guys are saying they're homemade. Danny's been looking at the True uh, True Religion website all morning. We can't find the fucking pants Steve's wearing. The yeah. website has a similar pair, but it is definitely not the pair nope. he's wearing. It is Different. not the pair he's wearing. Yeah. His fiance called their show and did say that she bought them. <laughs> So, for what it's worth. So, we go to get coffee. We're minding our own B.I. business, trying to get back in the room before Christine W. stops singing her song like good old Queen should. Exactly. And there he is in, and they're homemade. Okay. Capri pants. You know why they're homemade? Because honestly, we're not supposed to have Capri because pants. Because honestly, boys our size. They don't make them for us. They don't make them for but us. I got these. I these are these are true religion like guy shorts. Or are they Lane Bryant? Did you buy them at like a fat <laughs> woman's store? <laughs> uh, no, really. <laughs> no, I think let's they were, break it down. I think they were actually to be true, completely honest. My uh, my fiance bought them online. Your fiance, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> so, yeah. I, mean, I wow. win the bet. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> looks like looks like some radar went up in that there studio. And I'm <laughs> fiance, mm, <laughs> yeah, all right. Holy <laughs> sure shit. thing! He's getting his ass kicked. He thought he was just gonna go in there and like the gay right. guys are gonna yeah, talk yeah. about his fashion. <laughs> oh my god! That smashed to bits. Bought them online. Your fiance, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> so, I, yeah. I wouldn't have bet Keith to how how long he would mention his female partner. That's all right. <laughs> but clearly, clearly she has her own plan right now because she's letting you walk around like that. But well, that's another story. Because honestly, yeah. ain't nobody gonna do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about the chick sitting on your nose capris, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're girls' capri pants. So that's but what we're thinking. That would too. have to be a big girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're big girls. They and, make plus size now. Red saying we can't find these uh, yeah. capri pants. I'm telling you, Danny's still looking. We I'm can't not, find them. I'm, I'm looking on eBay, thinking, well, maybe they've been we discontinued. We can't find them. <laughs> maybe they were on sale. But the the, the guys from Q were saying that they're homemade. I think they Maybe saw they're the true fringe. religion fucking jeans, and and then they were cut up to look like capris. I hope not. But if they were last seasons, they're probably not going to be online. Mm. All right. She brings up a point. I love shopping. <laughs> they continued just killing Steve. Yeah. So at what point? My, I guess the question is: At what point do these become shorts? Ever? Or if I took a scissor above and, the knee? Above, above the, the knee. knee. Above the knee. So if literally I took a scissor and cut these things above, they the would knee, become shorts, and then you shorts. would be, and then you would be the guy wearing shorts that work with Sam disagrees. With very, like, very tight shorts. <gasps> well, they're not that tight oh. because honestly. Keith, should I say it? Wait, let me see, say it. No package. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! the room just got cold. <laughs> oh, no package. Uh, the gay wow. guys say Steve's got a little dick. <laughs> they are fucking tearing him apart. Th did Steve punch it all? Did no. Did he get any lines in? Steve got no lines Nothing. in. Nothing. What the Not one. We all know how good he is at uh, improv. 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 He's, he's, he's the best. Oh, the jeez. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, when would these be shorts? I'd like to take the comedy bit and make it informational. <laughs> 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 he did the same thing he does in here. He just represented the situation at hand. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And they called him Heather, right? I don't know, did they? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, one, heifer, one. heifer. Oh, oh, it sounded like, sound like Heather. Heather. It they did sound like Heather. They called him a heifer because he's fat. It did sound like Heather. Steve-o! <laughs> Wait, well. dude. 
right, oh, and finally this. That is funny. Steve on Alcue with his capris. So now you know what you know what those are in in in. When two gay guys see that, it's like he needs extra padding on his knees for when he goes down on somebody. <gasps> Work. Because <laughs> uh, scraped wow. knees are not a hot look. So, Wait, do you have a you have a leg tattoo? He does yeah, I do. What's that? It's a uh, orchid. Okay. What, An orchid. Mm hmm. Are you were your florist in another life? Uh, you know, it's just I I thought they looked pretty. I saw them. They look pretty. Yeah. I, I they were pretty. <laughs> this is big butch man talking about his Keith, tattoos. Keith, Keith, pretty. Straight people are zany. Aren't they insane? Go on. Oh my so he got God. his wardrobe is not allowed on that show anymore. No, he sounds perfect. Made, he sounds like the third he's, mic. Yeah, he's making us all look bad. He does sound third mic on that show. Wow. Yeah. They did yes. say that uh, they would come on our show. Yeah. Right. Could you rephrase that? <laughs> a, a <rhyme? laughs> he got killed. Yeah, he got. She got the cum joke. Of course she did. It's the U. It's the U. Oh, why? Nice. Very wait, good. Wait, what? What happened? The cum joke. Trump. Francine said it's you. Like cum of the U. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. But yeah, they just they just bashed the <laughs> events. Oh <my> <laughs> That's, uh, all Did right. Did you really think that Steve was going to get his shots in? <laughs> Not one. Yeah, one in. I, I was Not hoping one. he would get one in, Dan. That's what I was saying. He didn't Not get one. one in? No. Not one. Not, a, not even a jab. There's no editing editing trickery. Of there's, course not. There's no jabs to be gotten. Not one jab. None. Zero. Donut. Jesus. All right. Uh, yes, I just thought that I would <laughs> put them on with my shoes. <laughs> Thank you. So you get a flower tattooed? Yes, I do. They grow in the earth. Let's go to Lady the Trucker. The worst fucking improver in history. LT, what's up? Good morning, gentlemen. Hello. Uh, yeah, that second segment you played, the uh, uh, guys are... It was gay talk for... Uh, uh, Steve's wearing women's uh, pants. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? What do you mean? I'm punching out. <laughs> uh, no, we were trying to go. I don't know what she was getting at. Oof. Uh, uh, let's say hi to Steve in Ohio. Steve. Hey, how are you guys? Good. Hey, you cannot let him leave the studio without having Sam do a tasteful, fashionable photo shoot. You know, a la George Costanza on the sofa. Oh, that would be kind of yeah, we got to get some more shots of Steve Supreme. And we should put him in that Lane Bryant shirt again and just do a really nice photo sh shot shoot with him. I agree. Dominic. <laughs> just repeat what he said. <laughs> Dominic. No reason. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi, Dom. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, if you want to check to see if they're real jeans or not and not just Capri's, just check to see if there's an inseam uh, on the tag. Oh, in yeah. seam. Why? Well, oh. it, well I mean, if there's if, hey. there was, if there's a length, obviously it's they were supposed oh, to be jeans. Oh, then they were supposed to be a certain length. Good yeah. one. Wow, this that guy's thinking. Good. Someone go do that immediately before he pulls the tag <laughs> That's off. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Go, oh, my God, they're on to me. <laughs> I have a weird feeling that they are homemade. I don't know. Maybe his girl made them. That's what I'm saying. I think they're real. They look real. I'm good at telling real stuff. Are you? Yeah. Well said, Francie. <laughs> I'm good at telling real stuff. 